I'm joined now from Tunis by Ahmed Bayram, who is the Middle East Media Advisor for Norwegian Refugee Council. Good to have you here with us on TRT World. What do you make of the latest situation in Libya? Thanks for having me. I mean, of course, I mean, your reporter puts it really well. It's chilling. Um, the, I don't know where to start, to be honest. The uh, spread of diseases, the displacement we are expecting, and the ever-increasing uh, death toll. Uh, we're now well over 10,000 uh, deaths, and sadly, we will be finding out more. Red Crescent still counting the dead, uh, getting reports of how many people are still missing from relatives, from family. It is a situation of um, despair, I have to say. Uh, local communities coming together uh, very strongly and very tightly together to um, help out those who, who have been caught by this. Uh, 7,000 families displaced, uh, um, 6,000 inside Dana, 1,000 outside. And of course, these are only you know, the families that could manage to to get out. We expect definitely more people. A lot of people that uh, you know have uh, no IDs on them. They have no belongings with them, and uh, the mental health situation uh, will continue to deteriorate. And as it can be seen on the live pictures that we are playing out of their entire neighborhood have been uh, wiped out. Uh, Ahmed the. Now, some of the most immediate needs of uh, survivors uh, include uh, fresh drinking water and uh, food. Uh, what else are you hearing about immediate needs from your sources who are on ground in Darna? We're hearing a lot of a lot of things, but um, top top needs include medical equipment, medication uh, for chronic diseases, and of course for you know um, any potential outbreak of, of any disease. Uh, vaccinations, of course, um, heavy, you know, heavy uh, rescue equipment have been sent in, but now rescue operations are wrapping up almost, uh, or, or will be in the coming hours um, as help fade. There's definitely need for shelter. People staying in overcrowded shelters. Uh, winter is, is around the corner, and with displacement, uh, we can't obviously we can't speculate about the numbers. If it's going to be in, in many tens of thousands, these people will need to be sheltered whether that is temporarily or whether that is through shelter repairs so that they can go back to their, you know, to their homes if their homes are still standing. A lot of people will have to make that choice, have to make that tough, very tough decision. We have right. seen that from the earthquake in Turkey and Syria, and it's repeating itself here. Shelter is a top need. Indeed. Ahmed, uh, how do you think the international community can help the people of Derna when it comes to alleviating their pain and sufferings? Just make more commitments and uh, don't drag your feet. This is what we have been telling our, our uh, you know, stakeholders. Uh, send us aid, um, send support now, come together, put politics aside and do commit for the Libyan people. Uh, the Libyan people are, are experiencing probably the worst of probably, you know, it, it's hard to compare, but they have been through years of conflict and this is up there with the, probably the worst they have seen, particularly children who, you know, have to go through this mental suffering. So definitely we need the international community to come together and uh, give generously to the people of Libya. Ahmed Bayram, thank you very much for talking to us here on TRT World.